Hey guys, welcome back. Another little session here. Um, this this time round, I'm not sure whether to tackle, probably tackle them too much at once. Might just get this wing underway and sorted. Um, it needs a good iron and the finish process applied. So we'll get on with that. Enjoy the video. So I'm just going over, very slow. I've got heaps to do, but you know what? It'll get done eventually. So I'm just going slow over everything with a hot iron, and I just weld that edge down. Going a bit slower this time, because otherwise it's a lot of work once it's painted. I still expect some to come up. Now if I touch that now, it's almost too hot to touch. Um, when you, that's how hot, so I've got the iron almost on max. It's okay over the metal, you just got to be careful on the, um, don't loiter too long on the open fabric here. But it welds it down nice, and then that's really warm to touch, like a kettle, as hot as a kettle. Um, so yeah, I'm just going through and ironing it all down. So I've done the leading edge and the tip, now I'm going to go back and work my way back, and then we'll put the wash on. But that tends to feather the edges again. Um, if you feel it with your hand, any teeth will show up. As I can tell, I haven't done that compared to this. It's like it's been sanded almost, um, but it's just been welded down with the iron. So I've just gone over with my eraser and get any any of the obvious bits off but as I've sort of learnt you're better off just to paint it then it becomes sandable I guess some of the dags but I'll get the the big gummies off but you want to be careful I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the way I've welded everything down or um, ironed everything down um, just getting any obvious stuff off And now I'll put on what I call the wash, three to one glue to water on the white bits. And then I'll do another coat, flip it over, and we'll do the bottom. May get some gray paint onto this today. But we'll see how we go. It's a good painting day, weather-wise. 20 something degrees, already 20, 24 degrees in the hangar, guys. Gippsland weather report. Should be out flying, but I'm in the hangar. Going well. All right, just putting on the first coat of glue or sealer. Um, don't underestimate the amount of time this takes. It takes a fair while. My plan was, and I said it on the last two wings as well. Yeah, you know, I thought I'd have this in the tent, do a coat of paint, and do some metal work, but it just sort of. I don't know, it's just, you've got all the glue out and you're in the process. Better off just to work on the one wing, I think. Um, maybe when it comes time for the coats of paint, you know, lay, lay a coat of paint and then I'll do the metal work. I think the plan will be, we'll get the metal work done. I'll pull out the ailerons, I think. Pull out the ailerons, get those, you know, all filed, filed down, all the holes drilled, make all the swarf. Do the same for the wing, then put them back, start the covering process on probably the wing. You know, work biggest to smallest in case I run out of material. I won't, but I, just in case, get the most efficient use out of the material and start the painting process on this. Because I'm just using the roller and the tray, I guess it's not a biggie just to mix up paint as we go. Um, getting into the better weather, so the paint should be a lot quicker process. Be nice when you um, get to this stage it sort of becomes sticky and it attracts all the dust and the bugs and crap so the quicker you can get a coat of paint on the better I think. Um, also it lets you know all the flaws which is the whole idea of the grey paint. If you're just catching up I'm not using the eco fill. Um, 
why? Well, I'm not sure. I could probably go back to the eco fill. Um, the paint sands a lot easier. And if I was doing a glossy finish, yes, like on a pit special or something, I'd definitely use the eco fill, wet sand, and all that sort of thing. Um, but this process has worked well so far. But yeah, just wanted to show you that, and it does take a fair bit of time. Move the few things around, got the ailerons out. I'm gonna drill the holes and bandage those up, get those ready to go. Now I've done two coats of glue on this side. What I found last time, when I turned it over, because this stays sort of sticky, it picked up all the fur and rubbish off my, my blanket. So the other side's still white. I'm gonna whack a coat of gray on this, because it's a great day for paint. It'll be dry in 20 minutes. Um, then I'll flip it over. The paint will be a, um, a barrier, if you like. So I'll get it sealed. Um, might do my two coats, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see how, see how the finish is, see how that looks. So one coat on the bottom. The top's painted grey. One coat. Um, let that dry. I'll put another wash coat on. That's what I do. Um, and then two coats of grey. In the meantime, I'm just drilling out, marked out, drilled out the ailerons. I've decided I'm going to make a mess, get all the swarf done, get the wing up, do the same to it. So the ailerons are now ready to cover. Finishing up for the day. So we've got two coats of green on there, one coat of, two coats of green and a primer coat on the back or the top surface. You're looking at the bottom. So that seals all that up nicely. Now tomorrow, uh, probably a quick glance over with the iron maybe. Or I'll just whack some paint on. I might just put some paint on. Then that highlights the, um, the, the, yeah, the pinks that are standing up. But she's looking good. I got the ailerons both prepped over here. They're in the gentleman's lounge. So I've drilled the holes, they're ready to tape up. I'm not gonna tape those up until I'm ready to cover because the, the fabric tape seems to come off. And then tomorrow I'll get the wing up on the bench. And I've got the templates and that already cut. And we'll cover that wing. So I'm covering that wing, I'll paint that wing. That's the plan. Um, and maybe both ailerons if it comes to that. All right, back in this morning. Um, hot and humid today. Humid's the key word, so it's raining. Um, and this is just not drying today at all. Usually it dries in 10 minutes. Um, so the weather does play a big part. So I've got a coat of paint on there. That's one coat each side, I believe, ready for a sand. A sand and, you know, a, a typical iron these sort of areas down. So in the meantime, I've bandaged up my ailerons. This time I used a combination of masking tape and the fabric tape. One I'm running a bit short. Um, but it also it helped to use the fabric tape and then the masking tape tidies up the edge a bit. Uh, some runs there. Also this glue, like that would never happen usually, um, it usually dries pretty quick. So I'm having trouble today with cure times. So I've got a few projects on the go just waiting for uh, glue to dry. I've cut my fabric. Now I've officially, I've got four ailerons. I've officially run out of fabric, supplied fabric, and I've got a whole wing to do. So I'm short um, 28 feet roughly. I think that's a 14 foot wing or something like that. What I want to do is, yeah, start the covering on these ailerons. They're fiddly little bits. Believe it or not, it's, I've said this before, there's just as much work in the ailerons as what there is in the big wing, to be honest. Um, it's just a bit smaller. So, we'll wait for those to dry. Don't know what I'm going to do, actually. 
Might get the hair dryer out and dry those off and we'll get into it. So this is that crappy piece of the roll that was rolled up and it's got wrinkles everywhere. So I figure the bottom surface of an aileron is a good spot to start. I think it'll pull down okay. If it doesn't, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm just cutting out now for the horn. So I mark it, pull it off, slit it, put it back on with plenty of overhang. And we'll iron this down. I say it fairly often, but new side, new, new blades, new razor blade, new exacto blade. I've gone through a box of, I think that was a hundred. And just on Amazon, I buy the blades bags of 100 or 200 or something so basically one or two cuts and throw it out especially a um you might get two full length cuts and the blade's done <clears throat> so i just start with that part because this is the part that can pull away and make a mess with plenty of overhang you sort of can't miss now i can do all the rest so the only thing attached is around the horn at the moment um and now i'll just work my way around Alara model aircraft, pull it tight, doesn't have to be super tight, just neat, and uh, do the radius, etc. Get that ironed on nicely, tacked, well, tacked on for now, then we'll glue the edge and shrink it down. So I'm struggling a bit today, just with the, I'm going to blame the humidity. See, I've still got wet glue there. I've used the heat gun to hurry things along a bit. And I'm making a, making a mozza of it today because I'm using the same time frames but, but the glue's not playing the game, if that makes sense. So I need to slow down, possibly even go home today and call it quits. Um, I've got the bottom skin on both ailerons sort of on, well, the perimeter tacked on. I'll, I'll finish this, then shrink it down, and I'll, I'll see where we're at and re-evaluate because it's just, yeah, cutting, cutting wet glue doesn't work and I'm not patient enough. I've, I've got the heat gun there, but you've got to be careful with the heat gun because you'll blow a hole in the wing. It's a tough going today. The wing still feels wet, to be honest. It's not ready to sand. That's just one coat. It's just not drying today, which is all right. Can see a few blemishes in that and I'm sort of using the heat gun to get the glue to set and it's not the right way to do it but it's working it's very it's unbelievable actually today just seeing how the temperature affects what I'm doing here as the rain starts to tumble down again bit of a partial cleanup going on Generally, I'm just going to come back and do the same thing, so I need the same tools. So a bit of a slow day today, frustrating day. Uh, weather. The weather played its part, funnily enough, today. I couldn't get a good... Um, I ended up using the heat gun to... <clears throat> to help set the glue. And when I trimmed it, you know, the glue was still a bit wet. So I got a lot of furry bits. Um... But I've got one other on both sides done, ready for tapes, you know, the drill. Um, shrink it down, rivets, rivets, or reinforcing tape, rivets will go in, two inch tapes, wing tip tape or other on tip, lead two leading edges, one trailing edge, and two and two here, top and bottom. So quite a few, you know, and a doily around here, doily around the control horn. But the good thing is now, if I get this one up to speed, interestingly, have I grabbed the right one? Yeah, I have. <coughs> Bottom right hand wing, and this is the right hand aileron. So what I might do is progress with this one, get it up ready to paint and I can paint it at the same time as that wing, as a pair. And while the painting's going on, I'll finish this aileron down here. So that's 
half a side done. Um, but the lesson learnt there is, well, I don't know, I wanted to do something today. You can't stop during because of weather. I could have done some metal work, I guess, but that's where we're at at the moment. Um, so just a quick video on these few days. The ailerons progressing well. All right, guys, so from the stop with Camel factory, oh, I'll say goodbye on that one, I guess. We'll, um, gonna, gonna progress next week with painting. We'll get some paint laid on the wing and the aileron, cover the second aileron, and then we'll get the final wing up. It's gonna be really good when I get to put away all the irons and the glue and everything for the final time, and the paint especially. Um, obviously there'd be some touch-up jobs, some panels that I've missed. I did notice on the, the wing here, um, I've got four panels and I think they're gonna fall smack bang in the middle of the round L. So I could end up with a red, white, and blue panel that I have to do, that's fine. Um, yeah, wing paint, round L's, finish the other ones, cover that wing. See you on the next video.